first mouse. I start all my babies out with mice because they're smaller and easier for them to digest than rats are. But after a couple of months, they'll graduate to rats. We'll go to rat pinkies instead of mouse pinkies. And they went right after them, no hesitation at all. You got two in there. You gonna eat a third one, you little piggy? Huh? I don't think you got room for another one in there. Maybe you do. They've eaten two each. They're growing babies, so they need to eat. You gonna eat another one? Huh? You gonna eat another one? Oh my goodness, what a little glutton you are. You gonna eat a third one? Oh dear. Nothing wrong with your appetite. Look at the lump in your belly. You sure you got room in there for another one? <laughs> I don't think you got room in your belly for another one. They're teeny tiny. They're about the size of the tip of your pinky finger. That's how small they are. So I'm going to sort through them and find another small one and eat that one. And the orange one's just finishing up her, his or her second one. Oh, we're going to eat a third one. Oh my goodness. What an appetite you have for a newborn. Good grief. This is your last one. I'm cutting you off after this one. Yeah, this is going to be your last one, little one. Look at that lump in your belly. As babies, they need the nutrients, but you don't want them to overeat either and regurgitate or throw up or get sick from overeating. So, as teeny as these mouse pinkies are, they're only day-old pinkies. As small as they are, I let them go with three and then I cut them off. Seeing that's their first meal, they won't hurt them. But yeah, that's their first meal. No more tails and feet for you. We're eating the real deal now, huh? Yeah. You gonna eat another one too? Look at the lump in your belly. This is your last one, kid. Then you go over into the big tote. I moved them up to a 20 gallon tank today because there are eight of them in it. There you go. You gonna eat another one too? That'll be your third, and then I'll cut you off. No more than three. Look at you go, picky piggies. Born with an appetite, that means they've absorbed all the egg sac. And now they're counting on food for nutrients instead of the egg sac. You don't need another one now. Three's all you're getting, so I'm gonna take you out and put you in the big plastic tote. No more. First meal, no more tails and feet. Now they're eating mouse, day old mice, pink, day old mice pinkies. I can't talk. It's always great to see them eating their first meal. So, the feeders came in today, and they're pounding these day old mouse pinkies. So that's what you always want to see when your babies are born. They're doing good. Second one for both of these two. I'm taking them out two at a time so I can keep an eye on them so they won't compete against each other for the feeders. But they're teeny. The feeders are. And the snakes are small too, but they're really having no issues with, eat with eating these little mouse pinkies. That's what you want to see. That tells you everything you need to know about them. They're healthy and they have a will to live and that's what's important. But after these two are through eating their three, if they want to eat that many, sorry about putting my thumb in front of the lens, but if they want to eat three each, I'll let them. And then when they're through eating their three, I move them over into there with the other two that have already eaten. And after all eight are back into this big plastic tote, then they all get moved back into their enclosure over here. 
Yep. So they're doing really good. So happy to see that. They went right to eating. No hesitation at all. Didn't have to prompt them. Didn't have to encourage them to eat. They went right to it on their own. That's what you want to see when you have babies. Yep, the babies are all eating their first meal. Three each. These are day old mouse pinkies, so they're teeny tiny. But they're doing really good. They took right off, went right after it, no hesitation at all. But I'm letting them have three since it's their first meal. I don't want to give them any more than that. But they are really teeny tiny pinkies. <laughs> they're smaller than the tip of my pinky finger. I see why they call them pinkies now. You gonna go get your last one? You've had two. What I do is I take them from their enclosure out of here, two at a time. I put them into this holding tank because I can watch two and not have to worry about them competing against each other for food. And then after they're finished eating, then I move them over to there. So after they've all eaten, they're all in this big tote and then they all go back over here into their enclosure and I put them in a 20 today I've got it over here by the monitor and TV because I love watching the monitor already they're only a couple of weeks old and they've noticed the monitor and the television and they enjoy watching it so you gonna eat a third one or you gonna quit with two oh, big yawn realign those jaws I take it you're finished that's what you look for when you're feeding your snakes. Usually if they eat a couple or eat one and then they do a big yawn, that's their way of realigning their jaws. Which means most times that they're through eating, they're not looking for any more, they're done. So they readjust their jaws. That's how you can tell when they're through eating. You ready to go over there with the other ones so I can put some more in here and feed them? You had two, you gonna eat a third one? I think you're full. You look kind of full to me. Yeah, I'm gonna move you. 